Good morning, family. Welcome in, everybody. Let's share the live broadcast, guys. Welcome in. Good morning, good morning. Kolila, you're right on time. <laughs> May God honor everybody's faithfulness. Amen. Welcome in. Let's share the live broadcast very quickly and let's start tapping. Let's tap our likes to at least 10,000 and let's see what happens. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Good morning. The Holy Spirit is ready and he's going to do his work. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Greetings, greetings, everybody. As you are coming in, do announce where you are tuning in from. Do announce where are you streaming in from? Where are you watching me from? As you are sharing the broadcast and you are tapping on those likes, we need to get to 10,000 likes at uh, TikTok. We're waiting for the people from Facebook and YouTube to also catch up with us. Come on, somebody. God is a good God. God is a faithful God. God is a God that is about to open doors for you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. More doors are about to fling open. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify your holy name. Announce to your neighbors, where are you tuning in from? Let them know that your country is alive and is seeking the face of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way in us this morning. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. You are holy, you are holy, Father, you are holy. Good morning. Thank you for those who are sharing the live. I can see what you're doing, guys. Come on, tap away, tap away, tap away. Hallelujah. Every tap is a clap for Jesus. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're not going to delay too long today because I am expecting load shedding to happen. So I don't believe we're going to be longer than an hour. So I want us to maximize every single thing that we need to do today. Okay. So I want us to maximize the time. That is why it's Saturday on your side. Oh, it's Sunday morning on our side in South Africa. So I need everybody to participate and to participate urgently shannon king welcome we will definitely be praying for you we are going to be praying together we are all going to be praying together so don't despair if it is your first time on my broadcast we all pray together we share the word of god together we fellowship together we fulfill scripture together we wait on his prophetic words to be released and god touches every single person that is on on this broadcast nobody will be left behind your issue and your, your whatever challenge or problem that you might have in life will definitely be touched on so i want to encourage every single person if it's your first time coming on the broadcast to know that whatever is going to happen here this morning you are going to be touched the lord is going to speak to you the lord is going to speak to you just from even the beginning god bless you anaka vengele you're traveling isn't it and you're still finding time to still tune in thank you so much god bless you so the way from the way we were Work. from the moment we start from the start from the start of the broadcast while we are worshiping while we are praising God for every thank you for everything that we type for every tab for every instruction that we follow as the Holy Spirit gives us for every kingdom of God a soul that we are bringing back in or we are bringing new ones in God honors that and he's going to be faithful and he's going to show up for you I can promise you that that much I can promise you and I can tell you you're going to live here blessed amen hallelujah 
Hallelujah. As everybody's coming in, let's pick it up and now put an announcement on what we are talking about. I need you to type in the comment section. They must open. Hallelujah. There's certain things we need to open up this morning. Hallelujah. They must open. They must open. They must open. Mercy, as you pray along with me, as I pray along with you, the Lord will touch your issue in Jesus' mighty name. They must open. Come on, somebody. You already know that I'm going to those doors, right? There are certain doors that are seemingly um, uh, jiggly. They, they, it seems like their keyholes are not working. We're going to open those doors. Come on, somebody. They must open. Make sure you are sharing on your timelines, Facebook, YouTube, everybody. Copy it. Uh, copy the link to your um, WhatsApp groups and make sure you are sharing. Hallelujah. They must open. Come on, Mara Official, I'm waiting for you to pick up. Come on, somebody. For every represented soul in this place, I know that you can do at least 10 shares. There are people that are on your timeline that you have followed or that are following you. Make sure that you're just sharing to them. It's very easy. There's that arrow at the bottom. You click on it, and then you show everybody's face that you see that is on that line over there. And then you come back and you click on the screen, and we make sure that we get the traffic that we need. We make sure that we get everybody to come and fellowship with God this morning. Hallelujah. 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 This morning we are opening doors. Hallelujah. There are financial doors that we are going to open and I'm going to be as fast as I can because I know that, um, you know, challenges do come these days, especially in South Africa. Hallelujah. 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 With our load shedding issues, sometimes electricity goes. So don't be alarmed when you see me suddenly go off. The people on TikTok know that um, for some reason, the network never fails at TikTok. So when you see um, me go off, those of you are on Facebook or YouTube, you just quickly come back to TikTok. Okay, great stuff. Great stuff. Come on, guys. We are not on 8,300 likes. Let's go. Fortunate online, I trust you. Let's tap. Everybody taps. Everybody taps 200 likes and we are on 10,000. And then we start for Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying this morning. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. God is a faithful God. There is an open door that is about to happen for somebody. There is an open door that is about to happen for somebody this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The door, the door that needs to open, the door that needs to open. What is that door that needs to open for you? I want you to declare in the comment section as you're coming in because there's new people that have just come in and just declare they must open. They must open. The Bible speaks symbolically of doors. The Bible speaks symbolically of doors. Hallelujah. God bless you, precious. God bless you. Increase you. It speaks of doors which are symbolically as passageways. There's a way, there's a place where you are needing to go through and that way needs to be illuminated for you. The doors are also doors of communication because there are things we need to communicate to the other side. There is a thing that needs to be communicated to your future self. There is a thing that needs to be communicated to your destination self. You are trying to reach to your destination but some of you are encountering doors, doors that are closed doors that are seemingly jammed some doors are open but you're not sure whether you should go through that door and we are also encountering doors symbolically which represent doors of agreement because when we agree with certain people it seems like we are entering into rooms and into places which we are agreeing either positively or to our negative impact we want to make sure we don't open doors we don't stand in agreement with people and go into doors that are gonna let, let us into rooms that are gonna cage us. Come on, somebody. We want to make decisions. Also, God bless those who are gifting. We want to make decisions in our minds. And so we need to make sure that our mind does not become an open door to things that are going to cage us, to things that are going to limit us. Come on, somebody. Then there's also doors which are symbolic of opportunities. And those opportunities, sometimes we miss them because we don't have the keys. And this morning, I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, showing you in scripture not too long, but like 30 seconds or a minute or so, talking about keys and the importance of keys, because without the key, then you cannot unlock anything. And you understand that when God begins to say and gives you a model and teaches you to pray, and he says, this is how you pray, and this is how you pray. Every time you come to me, you ask, and you keep on asking. He says that that means there's a persistency. It's not a once-off time and a once-off relationship that you come to me and you ask me once. He says you ask and you keep on asking. 
seeking. And he says, you seek and you keep on seeking because the things that are, you are looking for, sometimes they are hidden. Sometimes they are behind closed doors and you need to keep on seeking. But people want to be, uh, you know, seek once and then you want to give up. Imagine as a child, as you are walking and you are learning to walk, you started by crawling and you kept on falling, but you did not give up. Your parents left you to fall, then your parents left you to get scratches. So such is life in our own personal lives. We experience that we are going through bruises. We are going through time. Sometimes we are crying. Sometimes we don't understand what is going on. But God says, you keep on walking. You keep on walking because the more you walk, the more you learn to run. The more you learn to run, the more you learn to fly. Imagine if people had given up and did not keep on seeking solutions. We would not be able to visit each other in different countries. If the person who invented the airplane did not figure out how to, to, to do an aircraft, we would not have been able to reach other destinations in other countries. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody keep on declaring in the comment section they must open. Keep on making that declaration. You're prophesying into that door that you've been waiting to open. They must open. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we begin to understand that there's opportunities that are going to... Uh, present themselves in life and those opportunities are not necessarily accessible just like that and those opportunities will need keys uh, to be open hallelujah those opportunities are behind certain doors uh, some people miss the opportunity because they are sleeping they don't even realize they don't even have a sense of spiritual sensitivity or discernment when the opportunity presents itself but i'm here to announce you to this morning prophetically that there is a door that is waiting for you and that door is written opportunity and you must unlock that door what Whatever it happens we are now in the second part of the year you are in the seventh month hallelujah the month of completion so whatever was he has been struggling to be completed it must be completed in this season in jesus mighty name when you track through the bible you discover that even when you get to matthew chapter 25 jesus tells a parable of the turn virgins and a shut door there is a point and a season there is a timeline there is a there is a time and a dispensation you must not miss because certain doors open only for a second only some doors open for minutes sometimes open doors they 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 they, they, they open for a, a, an hour but you don't know how long that door will remain open that is why it's important to have the sensitivity to to move in into that door when it's time you don't miss your opportunities hallelujah i heard a, a phrase the other day when i was watching a movie it says you miss um uh, I, I can't paraphrase it now, but any opportunity you don't take, you miss it. Hallelujah. So if you think you're not going to get into the game, the game is still going to go on without you. And if you don't take that opportunity, so you will not be able to throw that ball into that goal. On you. If you don't kick that ball into the, the goal post, it will not land there. Hallelujah. It's not going to land there by itself. Come on, somebody. Somebody say they must open. They must open. Come on, somebody. I hope we are sharing. I bless those who are sharing and those who are who are tapping. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Extra blessings for you as well. Hallelujah. Thank you for those who are following as well. Hallelujah. And when I checked also, I, re I, I realized that I encountered another door in the Bible. And Bi the Bible talks about the narrow door. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 13. So there are certain doors that are narrow. And, and sometimes uh, the, it's not a popular door. And because everybody is going through through the widened door but you often have to go through the narrow door you have to often uh, take decisions sometimes that are not so 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 popular with other people they feel that you are restricting yourself some of you will have to make choices to go through the narrow door for the sake of your health come on somebody and I, I've taught on this in the past and said we have to take responsibility as Christians that we take uh, decisions that are good for our health because our health is our wealth our health is a representation of our wealth and if we are not careful in terms of how we look after ourselves one of the things that i've been rebuked very often by the holy spirit and even my family is the issue of rest how often do you rest? Just a simple thing as rest. If you are not careful and you don't take the breaks that you need in life and you rest your mind, you get enough sleep. That is why I'm always praying for people who are suffering with depression, uh, people who are suffering with mental issues because your mind is always overworking. Your mind is always overthinking. And when you're overthinking and overworking your mind and you are depressed, you are short-circuiting your life. Your life will be shortened. Some of the diseases that are in our bodies are because we do not rest. We don't take care of our health. Some of the inflictions, am I communicating with somebody? Some of the inflictions and the infirmities that we are going through is, is because we are not looking after ourselves. 
when you let yourself be abused, when you let yourself absorb every negative energy around people, you are going to suffer in your health and your health will be affected, your life will be shortened and you will not even have get to experience the doors that God has, has laid out for you. There are doors that are waiting for you to be open and they must open. Somebody declare it with me. They must open. And I know that this is the trap that we fall into, especially as mothers, because we think that we must be everything and superwoman to everything. We must be there for our husbands. We must be there for our partners. We must be there for, for uh, our children. We must be there for ourselves. And all these things, we are rushing up and down. But at the end of the day, you did not take care of yourself. And you wonder why certain doors are not opening. Sometimes even wisdom cannot even operate inside of you. Well, it's a clear, a clear view that your wisdom is not functional because if wisdom was functioning in some of us we would make the right decisions some of you the reason why you take haphazard decisions even in spending recklessly financially recklessly is because you did not have the mind you are just opening doors of debts all the time because you're trying to fulfill a void inside of you i don't know why the holy spirit wants me to pack your mind maybe it's a rebuke for ladies especially more you, but I believe that there's something that the Holy Spirit has just dropped in my spirit now for men as well. You want to take temporary decisions. You open certain doors. You take the key and you open doors that you are not supposed to open because you are wanting what? Temporary gratification to take away, to fill a void that cannot be filled by money or fill a void by shopping, fill the void by whatever debts that you think that if you buy that next biggest car or that next fleshy house, come on somebody. And there's an issue also for, 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 for men who keep on unlocking doors. Those who are unlocking doors, men and women actually of addiction. The Holy Spirit says, I must speak to those who keep on unlocking doors, which are doors of addiction. There are some doors that need to remain closed and there are doors that need to open. So when I'm asking you to make a declaration this morning and say they must open, I want you to shut those other doors. There are doors that must open and there are doors that must shut that door. So if you know you are struggling with addiction, I want you to comment in the comment section and say, shut that door. That door must be shut. If you know somebody that is struggling with addiction in your family, I want you to shut that door. Don't open that door. Don't declare. Declare that it is shut. That door is shut. Shut that door. You can call the name of the person. It's a prayer in itself. That is a prayer in itself. That declaration. When if you have somebody, if it's your husband, and you say, you, you mention your husband's name or whatever, and you say, shut that door shut that door if you want us put it generically and you don't want us to know or, or you don't want to, to put the name of a person it's also fine but we are family here we are praying for each other we're standing in agreement because we know there are addictions that are happening in the families here there are people who are on drugs their children are on drugs and they are here because they don't have any other solution and they need us to stand with them if you know you say god i shut the door shut the door on drugs on my children shut the door on alcoholism on my children shut the door on my family shut the door of, of, of whatever you call that door the alcoholism door or drug door if it's a family you can even just generally generically say a family so that we know we stand in agreement so that you can also see that other people are also going through that thing shut the door to financial lack shut the door to creating debts repeated debts after debt after debt come on somebody it's a narrow door the cho you choosing that you are not gonna go into debt you choosing that you're not gonna buy that starbucks coffee you choosing that you're not gonna buy that expensive vehicle but you're gonna buy a vehicle that is according to your means you choosing to buy an item in cash instead of going into credit that is a narrow door that you need to go into you need to identify the different doors that you need to go into that bible also talks about the door that is open for the gentile faith hallelujah there is a door open for you this christianity is not only for the jewish people but it's for all of us we are going to open doors and we are gonna they must open the door of faith the door of faith talks to the fact that your belief is not gonna shake you're not gonna wander about you're not gonna be unstable talk to me somebody the apostle paul talks in corinthians about an effective door that is open he says there is a great door that it open that will open for you so the bible is also confirming that there are great doors that are waiting to open somebody shout open that door i said there's a great door open for you open that door they must open whatever great doors of opportunity great doors must open open that door they must open great doors they must open great doors they must open let it sink into your dna let it sink in into your cellular level 
genetic level. Great doors must open for me in Jesus' mighty name. Then there's also effective doors that must open for you. Come on, somebody. Somebody say they must open. Come on, somebody. Keep tapping on the screen. God bless the gifters. God bless those who are tapping. God bless those who are sharing in Jesus' mighty name. They must open. They must open. Every person who has shared, my God, every person who has evangelized, everybody who has won a soul, the door must open. You are doing the Lord's work. Every servant of the Lord, you are serving in different capacities in organizations. I want you to understand that you don't have to wait to serve when you are in your church building. You have, don't have to serve only in, your, in the ministry where you are in, but you also serve in your workplace. Come on, somebody. So the diligence and excellence is also required in your workplace. Come on, somebody. So there are great doors that are waiting for you because there's a great door waiting to open for you in your job place. But you have not been accessing that door because you've been minding yourself and thinking yourself small. You've been thinking that you are here for one assignment, not realizing that you can be relocated to another assignment that gives you better opportunities, that give you better, uh, that unlocks your financial breakthrough that you have been believing for. So there are great doors, and but also the Bible tells us that there are effective doors. Then it tells us that there are doors that we can open, but there is no effect. Some people have received doors of opportunity, but they've not utilized them effectively. So there's a possibility that you can get keys this morning, and you open the door, but you are there, but you don't know exactly what you need to do once you're in there. Some people are in, have met people, and I... And, I, and I, I'm, I'm not excluded in this. I have to repent. I later realized the value of relationships. Some of the keys and the doors that you have been given is the fact that you met certain people that were strategic in your life. You met people that you did not know you would need in your life. And you did not keep contact with them. You lost an effective door. And my prayer yesterday, I was saying, God, let me not have lost that opportunity. I know I still have that phone number somewhere. I've had the privilege of meeting certain people in high, like, you know, when the Bible says that he will bring you into rooms, your gift and talent will give you into, get you into rooms of kings and princes and people who are very high up that nobody ever thought you could be. And I thought by remaining quiet and being humble at that moment and not being you know, oh yes, you must be humble, obviously. I mean, you know, it's not that kind of situation where you're saying, oh, I'm in a celebrity room with the celebrities and you don't want to embarrass yourself as if you don't know how to behave. But I've been given phone numbers of people and I've sat down after the fact and I say, years later, and I'm like, why did I not call that person? So God made me meet that person five, 10 years ago. I did not know that I would need them five years later. Am I communicating to somebody? I did not know where God was leading me to, that God was positioning me, even in ministry wise. I've had people that beg me for my contacts. They say, who, you know who? And I say, but you know, and I respect people's confidentiality and I would not, I would like, they say, you know who? Some big names that you see on TV. And I didn't understand the reason for the connection then. So it's possible that God puts you into a network of people for a reason. And all that you might need to do is just to keep contact and just to greet a person and say, how are you doing, sir? I'm just greeting. Not necessarily even to say that person was supposed to mentor me or anything because those people have been mentoring me from a distance, but I was too shy to keep more contact and I realized that the enemy was, was, was damning me out because I was like, no, I can't just send the SMS. I have a lot of respect, by the way. I honor, I honor where, where there's an oil. People who are busy and people who are successful and people who are called, especially people who are, who are spiritual leaders, they are not to be contacted willy-lily as, you know. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. But the, the issue that the illustration I'm trying to make that I didn't even make a contact at all afterwards. I got the phone number. I didn't even make a contact. But there is a blessing in just sending a greeting to somebody and not asking for anything. Because these people are used to being asked for things, especially money. Come on, somebody. Oh, Shakura Bahasa Takadia Baha. Come on, somebody. 
Come on, somebody. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Hallelujah. There, there are doors we were supposed to utilize. This, this is, I, I, I've, I've taught this in a different context when I'm talking about destiny helpers. Sometimes the reason why those networks and those doors don't open is because we ask too much. What is too much, Pastor Fortune? There are people who don't even know you from a bath soap. Like, the only way other people, oh, oh let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give this as an, a different illustration. That when somebody would ask you just only for money, they just show up only asking for money. They will disappear three months, six months, and they just always ask you for money. Your heart is not open to help this person because you're like, I keep on trying to teach you to fish for yourself. I keep on trying to teach you how to make money for yourself, but you don't show up. It's the same level of frustration that sometimes a lot of pastors have burned out. A lot of pastors have given up because they keep on saying, I keep on teaching that this is the principle on how you unlock this, but they don't want to show up. They keep on saying people don't want to show up for prayer. People don't want to show up for their own spiritual growth. Come on, somebody. They must open. Keep on declaring. They must open. So we need wisdom to know how to honor those that God has positioned for us. I told you the other day that there are people the same way. You know, there's a destiny helper that is definitely going to give you that money. But they've given you money before. And all you said was thanks. And you sent an emoji. That was your response on WhatsApp. And you think that's respectful. There are people that look for help. And they will send you a WhatsApp and they will go, hi. I, I, I'm actually trying to get myself to a point that I don't respond to any message that says hi, hello. So what, what am I supposed to say after that? Come on, somebody. Imagine, do, imagine if, if you had an opportunity to, to, to meet Bill Gates and your first statement was hi. That first WhatsApp that he read was hi. There's nothing else that he's going to say afterwards. And let me talk to let me talk to the young generation especially. Because the Holy Spirit wants me to go there. And I'm gonna go there. You cannot send a person a message that says, What's up? And you expect me to take you seriously. You may do what's up with your friend, but you cannot take I, I don't take such people seriously. And I promise you. Anybody that you are believing for, especially in the job scenario, this thing is so, so septic, infectious, that it shows up when people are applying for jobs. I kid you not. I've looked at job applications and people on emails, the way they address, you don't know who's going to receive your email. You don't know who's reading your, your cover letter. And you are talking about what's up. You are not using complete sentences. Come on, somebody. Can I, can I, if I, if I lose any friends this morning, if you want to unfollow me, it's okay. But I know there's more people that will follow me because I need to bring correction in the body of Christ. There are people that have lost the grace and the oil to operate on them because of the way you positioned your inbox. How you, what you said in the inbox. Even your sense of entitlement, the way you said the thing. And I was like, ha. Huh. Come on. People use language. Hey, what's up? What's up? I want you to hook me up with a job. I'm looking for a job. Your what's up? You lost me at what's up. I'm not, I'm not there. Hi. You need to understand that if there are certain people and certain doors you want to open, the people are busy. They don't have a time to chat back and forth. Hi, da, da, da. Introduce yourself. I'm sorry, so from Lena. State your meta and be succinct. Sometimes the person you are sending a message to does not have more than a minute to read what you were saying. Am I communicating? Some people, you, you, that's why I always say, what's your elevator pitch? When we do one-on-ones,
you, you don't have to disgrace yourself, but you can be respectful. Respect does not mean you disgrace yourself. You know when somebody is shaming you. You don't have to beg. We are not beggars. I'm responding to somebody on a comment and God help me, I don't, I don't normally do this. But I, I'm just saying, if you come to the broadcast, come with a teachable spirit so that you can understand when the Holy Spirit communicates. Because this is exactly why some people miss their opportunities. They miss their opportunities because they don't want to open up and learn new things. God bless you, Kia. Because people, it's, it's, it's respect. It's not that you are begging a person, but it's how people need to be addressed. There is just no way I can show up before P Bishop T.D. Jakes and just, hey, hi, what's up, Bishop? Am I crazy? I probably have less than two minutes to ask and to tap into the wisdom of this man. I need to know exactly what am I going to say. What's my elevator pitch? What am I going to talk about? I'm not going to ask him and say, tell me how to increase my church or my ministry. How can I, I need help for, for money for... Those people don't take anybody seriously. You can't just be asking, I need money, we need money for... Is that all? You had an opportunity to stand before greatness. God himself had to come down and ask Solomon, what do you want? There's a certain way you can make waves that doors will open for you. Come on, somebody. Your presentation is important, Cookie. Your presentation is very important. How you present yourself is a make it or break it. How you showed up looking. You show up and you tell me that you want to start, you want a tender to, 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 to serve food in a company. And you showing up looking all dr dressed up anyhow. And I'm thinking this is a person that wants to cook for my company. This is a person that wants to cook in my establishment and you're looking, come on guys present yourself well so that the keys that I'm talking about I'm not in the door of effectivity why some people are not effective it's not effective so you come at me with an emoji I come at you with an emoji as well as life goes on as more responsibilities are added to me you I know I won't be able to to listen to everybody but I'm just trusting God that God gives me the grace to help as many people as I can so if I'm going to be, what's up? I, I, I don't know. Let me get out of here. But I know, and especially doing cryptic language on TikTok makes people get into the habit and think that they're going to, guys, these things are showing up on the emails. I've seen it on the job applications. Some people are saying, I don't know why I've not been getting a job. I don't know. Maybe I delivered somebody through this teaching this morning like this. It's because of what you typed. It's exactly of the way that you've been, you've been, you, you are even doing typos in your CV. You didn't even do a type, a, a, a spell check because you're just used to talking anyhow. People in authority want to be respected. People in authority, they need honor. They need to be honored. They don't, they will not ask for honor, but where they don't feel honored, the honor will not be, it will not work for you. That person will not even avail themselves to mentor you. And, 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 and let me correct this in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Christian kingdom. The same responsibilities that you will have, and, and this is a burden, God, I'm going to say this and I'm going to move on. My heart broke. There's a pastor that, that, you know, did a TikTok video. And I wish I would have met the person before so that I can talk to them and encourage them and cancel them and pray with them and maybe they've already gone through all that and then maybe you have seen it he said i'm giving up being a priest this is somebody who's actually a priest in in, in one of the traditional churches and says i'm stopping being a priest today i've done all i can i i didn't see the specifics of why they were giving up but i know but the people feel unappreciated people feel violated the same way that you manage your time as an individual, as a human being. Think of your pastors, think of your leaders in the same way as well. The same way that you would want to manage your rest, you would want to manage everything. Think of them as well. And I'm talking to those people, especially the trollers that normally browse through here. And they, they will come with funny comments and they will say, oh, here's another evangelist, TV evangelist, preacher and all these things. They are all about the money. I'm talking to those people as well. That you have no right. 
to talk to people like that. You don't know what they've gone through. You don't know what they go through. You don't know how many hours they spend on the road helping and praying for other people. So it doesn't hurt if you can stop for a day and just, just one minute every single day and remember to pray for your pastors. Remember to, look, even if you don't pray for me, it's no, no problem. God will, pr God, I've got my back. My family's got my back. But I know that this family of Fortune Online, they will pray. Oh, Shakura Bahasata Kadiaba. You, you see, you see, I, I, I'm glad somebody's making these corrections also in the comment section. Respect, guys, respect. Let me go back to, to, to my message. But I hope you're getting my heart and my spirit that this is about respect for effectivity. Some things are not effective because people just don't honor. They just lack of honor. Dishonor will close doors for you like you can never think. Some people want to honor their bosses, but they will not honor their the men or, or women of the cloth. They won't honor people who are spiritual leaders, but you want to honor everybody else. No, it doesn't work like that. Let me be honest with you sincerely. You may not understand the cost of the oil, but this oil comes at a very high price. It comes at a very high price. Sometimes your body is so sore after you have prophesied. Sometimes your body is so sore and the things you see and you're trying to sleep and you're trying to rest and somebody will come and, and be angry and say, you did not respond to me. Excuse me. Th th that is why I'm, I'm teaching you to tell you there are times I won't be around. And at least I've left you with the Holy Spirit and at least I've left you with the word. Come on, somebody. God bless you, Tabza. Thank you, my, thank you, my darlings. Thank you so much. But I want to say this because I wanted to correct these things. And I want to appeal to those of you who are in ministry, who are on this broadcast. Please don't give up. I know often we are unappreciated. Often people think that we don't have needs. We don't have bills. The same way you guys go out and hustle. I can't rely. I don't know who's going to give. I don't know who's going to sow a seed in my life. I don't know who's going to give me an offering. I can't sit and, and say, okay, I know God will look after me, but appreciate sometimes you're on a hustle and somebody say, Pastor, you've not been answering my call. I was in a meeting. I'm also hustling. Isn't it that they say we must also go and be in business and work? So we just manage the time that we have so that we can pray and help the, 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 the church of God. But I'm just saying, and I'm correcting these things. Don't leave. Don't go off the broadcast and hear me out. And you go, and, and I might not be your pastor that you think, I not, might not be your primary pastor. But think of your pastor. Next time when you are tempted or your friends get you tempted to say, why are these people, they just like money. That's why I teach you to discern for the fake and the real ones so that you don't flow with the fake ones and you, don't, you stop becoming fake. You do what the Bible says. The principles, there are doors that will not open when you don't keep the principles of God. That's the truth. If the Levites are not taken care of, the fact is that you are not honoring the Levites and the grace will not flow for you. That is it. So I pray for all the men and women of God, all of you, some of you with callings, you have a calling, you know you are gifted and I'm yet to mentor you. God has positioned you to come into this broadcast because I know some of you, I'm just waiting on you and the Holy Spirit to, co to confirm to you that you have actually met your, you've met your midwife. So you can choose to treat me anyhow. Wow, Cookie, God bless you. God bless you for that testimony. All your papers are now in order. Amen. So let's 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 be let's be careful how we we don't dishonor the grace that God puts inside. And I know people will say, "Oh, they've now started. They want you to worship them." No, I don't want you to worship me. Sweetie, I, 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 not, not on a bragging position. Some of us, we, we have degrees, not one degree. But we chose to do the work of the Lord. Because we can see that our generation is dying. So when we avail ourselves, all we are asking is, please do the work. That is always my cry. I'm saying, please do the work. Because some of these prayer requests that I'm getting, I can sense, I know when a person is not going to do the work. When I tell you, go and watch the videos, you must come back with a different, you, you would have learned something. Other people don't want to open their Bibles. So what am I going to do? 
I'm not the healer. It's God that's the healer. And if you're not going to see the word, and if you're not going to understand and, and start getting revelations for yourself, there's nothing I can do. But when I finish here, and not only am I going to two different cities, I'm going into the locations. I'm going to preach to those who are poor. And I'm supposed to show up at them and tell them about Jesus. And I'm not even having food. And while I'm busy telling them about Jesus, they're thinking, hey, this woman, I'm broke. I don't even know what I'm eating today. I'm supposed to figure that out, by the way. I can't preach to the hungry person. I must figure it out. And I, and I guess we're going to figure it out, ours, all of us, us here as a family. So you can run and you can go and try and find another midwife. But I know, you know in your heart and in your mind and your spirit that something in your belly has confirmed that I'm your midwife. So you can keep on jumping up around until you have give birth to this thing that God has given you, until that effective door opens for you. Let it land. Let it land. Some of you have been told, no, 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 no. This person, you're thinking because the person you are reporting to in your workplace is, is junior to you, you because they are younger in you. Listen, guys, it's not about eldership. Eldership in the context of age. You're going to have to respect that person, whether they are 20-year-old. Speak to people properly. Spicy, you will know why, why doors are not... You, because... In all this thing, you see, that's why when I started, I said, you listen to the whole, the entirety of this preaching, entirety of the prayer. You don't select which word you want to choose. You will know which door you've been struggling with, why the doors aren't opening. Because you might have come for just for me to preach on the financial door. Some people are just waiting for me to prophesy on their financial doors only. But God has now I've stopped for the past 15, 20 minutes. I've been talking about a door of honor. That's the door that will unlock the effectiveness. Are we, are we, are we, are we communicating? Are we communicating? And I see the queries and today it's Sunday guys. I don't have, I can't answer every question, but as you, I want you to take the holistic gospel in its entirety. The day when you have done everything in its entirety, you can then go and accuse God. He says, come and reason with me. You can go and reason with him and tell him, God, I've done everything. And the day when you tell me that you've done everything, then you can say, God, it's not working. What is spirituality? Have you exercised the, the ambit of it, all of it? You can't just come here for just, you are just waiting for me for financial prosperity door. You see how, when I, especially when I, I, I talk about honor, I watch the stats. I'm looking, I'm looking at four screens here. Thank God on Facebook, they don't have a choice on YouTube. They just stay there. But you see, when you talk about giving, they shrink. They want me to tell them that they can just, just, just talk to your door of favor and, and your finances. Meanwhile, you have you 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 missed it by the door. The effective door that has not been opening has actually been an issue of respect. And it might not be somebody you've not been respecting in your workplace, but the way you treat people, you are not respectful to people, and that is why the door might be closed. That's the truth. You don't honor the, the, the doors. There's a door. There's a key that you need to unlock. I spoke at the beginning. Maybe you joined late. I was talking about shutting down doors of addictions. You are busy in constant addiction. Your mind is not even functioning to flow enough to, 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 to hear the Holy Spirit speak to you. And maybe there's a door you're waiting to open. But if you are high all the time, What door will open? You can't be effective. There's a great and effective door waiting to be opened. But it cannot open because there's other doors we still need to shut. Don't show up only for the good doors. Don't show up. I, I can open doors that are awesome and I can declare them and I can prophesy. I can speak. But some people, the doors that you need to open is to sit still and listen to the word of God and learn the word of God for a change. Try that for a change. Try soaking yourself in the word of God for a change. Try worshiping God for a change. Try praising God for a change and sit down 
and wait upon the Lord. A door of waiting needs to be opened. Sit down. Then everything comes with ease. The door of honor. The door of reverencing your God. The door of waiting on God and having time for your God. Don't just show up and you just slice in the DMs. You slice in, in the, um, how is that my daughter says, you just, you know, and you will feel like, oh, the Holy Spirit is there, as, as, the, as the teenagers say, is mising me. No, the Holy Spirit is not mising you. He's just saying, you know, you don't reverence me. You don't exalt my name. You don't worship me. You don't glorify me. When I give you things, you think it's by your own strength. You don't come back and give me praise and worship. The Holy Spirit is saying, I do things for you and I keep, I'm there for you. I'm just there. I'm waiting for you to change your attitude. You don't work for me. You don't serve me. You're only interested about me, 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 me. My name is me. Give me Jimmy. Oh, Sit down and listen to the word of God. You get bored because now they want us to preach what they want to hear. The Bible even says their ears are itching. If you don't preach what they want to hear, they leave. If you don't preach what they want to hear, they unfollow you. If you like, unfollow me. But the, you, you can't be selective. You can't just choose what you want to hear. We can't be talking about prosperity seven days a week. We need a balance. We need a balanced diet. Balanced diet. A balanced diet will let you know that it's not every time when you're busy screaming or knocking on the door of prosperity that it will open like there are things that you need to work on in yourself. There are things that are going on in your family that you don't even see. That your child is already smoking weed every single day. Their brain cells are busy frying. There are things you need to take care of that the Holy Spirit is trying to get your attention on. You keep on running away from your calling. And you wonder why some doors and it's totally feeling like it's an unrelated door your finances are not working and you're saying but i've got the degree i'm working hard but you're not submitting to your calling he called you he says you are my own you're my own possession and you're gonna do my work whether you like it or not you're gonna do what i called you on this earth to do some of you have been running way too long and you are say thinking spiritual work working for the for, for the lord is just too it's it's poverty i don't want to impart it continue continue and see how things scatter and 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 why i'm making this correction is because people who are called especially who are called in the prophetic why we started the school of, of the spirit was to save people from being told that they need to go for initiations and become sangomas or juju priests or whatever because what that calling will do to you if you do not act, if you do not respond to this calling my darling things will dry up and that's when you will have the false prophets that, 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 that they can notice your star. They know that God has already given you this thing. And they're going to drag you out of that thing, my darling. And they're going to drag you away from God. And they're going to put you into death. Did I hit a nerve, Tebo? Did I just hit you there? I know I just hit something. They see your star. And they're going to come and drag you. And they're going to pull you into that thing. And you're going to go. And you're going to make covenants. You're going to make blood covenants that are going to put you into a lot of hell. Your family is going to be going through things that you don't understand. Your foundations are going to be broken. Your foundations, your generations to come will be in trouble for years. And they will be praying and they won't know what they are praying for. All because you refuse to answer the call. You refuse to answer the call of God. And, and somebody, some of you are suffering because somebody answered the call that was incorrect. My God, help me that, that this load shedding must not take away this light and this network. They chose to, you are, you are in problems now. The reason why it looks like you're going around the same mountain in the same circle is because somebody in your lineage, in your ancestral lineage, chose to answer the call of the other gods, idols. He chose to worship idols. He chose, there is a gift that you can see that, okay, I'm coming from a gifted family, yes. And that person, because of a familiar spirit that they entered into, and they started going into a Sangoma worship and all these things, and they started going to altars and shrines. And you are suffering because of that now. 
Because the same way as you are fighting and saying, I'm getting out of it, that, that spirit is saying, you're not going. Somebody, your great, 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 great grandmother made a pact with us that somebody will always take over this thing. Come on, somebody. Joe Case, your, your nerves, I just touched the nerve. May, may God heal you. Mm. God is healing us this morning. I've not even started a quarter of my notes. And the Holy Spirit wanted me to correct these things. And maybe, yes, he wanted me to talk about why certain doors are not opening. And we are declaring, we're saying they must open. But they're not opening for a reason. So I'm, I'm addressing those, especially those who just, hey, da, 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 da. guys, please make sure you are not using um, crying emojis because I see that, that some of the comments are being filtered or something like that. There's warnings that we're getting. So no crying emojis. Don't put your family into problems that they will not know how to come out of. They will be on deliverance cues forever if you keep on going and messing with the blood. You don't mess with blood. You don't, there is life, the life is in the blood. Have you seen that scripture? The, the life is in the blood. When Jesus says, I'm giving you my blood, he was canceling the blood of that ancestral idol and you keep on wanting to go mess with it. And I'm saying stop opening up yourself to vulnerability because there are people who want to steal your stars who are operating for the uh, devil's kingdom. And they know that they are strengthening themselves. I've, I've, I've taught about this. Please go and watch the videos on YouTube uh, about the star hunters. Because they can see the gift that is inside of you, they want the star to strengthen themselves. It's not that they are coming to help you birth out that star and for you to use it. No. When you go to them, they will tell you you need to be initiated. Ah, God bless you, Bulani. And you go there. Sorry, your friends have even taken you there. Gandhi, the star hunters were waiting to just take your star. Because when I know you are confused, I'm having dreams, I'm having visions, I don't know how to interpret them. Did you sit down? Do you know that the things that... The, the devil tries to copy the spiritual, the, the, the God's kingdom. Whatever is happening in the kingdom of God, the devil will try and copy. There are people with visions here. There are people with, 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 they, they can see things before. They have not been trained how to unlock it. There are people who are able to have, some of you, I don't know how, you can tell me in the comment section. You'll be walking around and you will be seeing something or you will sense something is about to happen that you can sense danger. But you don't know what to say. You don't know how to articulate. Sometimes you have dreams of people and you are, you are scared. You don't even know how. Are those people here? You don't know what to say. You need training. But the question is where? Because when you look at the kingdom of, of darkness and the kingdom of light, there's training both ways. And all of them are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. There are two doors. There's a door to darkness, the kingdom of darkness, and there's a door to the kingdom of light. They are both waiting for you. Yesterday... Um, or is it Dave? When, during the all night that we had, somebody came into the box actually and, 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 and spoke about this. We were doing the dream interpretation and, and during the dream interpretation, we, we unlocked the fact that she was spiritually gifted and she actually confirmed that she comes from a lineage of spiritually gifted people. But most of the people in her family are in the darkness side of the things. They are in the Sangoma trades and, 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 and they wanted her to do the same thing. Because while we were interpreting her dream, we then unlocked the fact that this person got a visitation from a familiar spirit that was going to hook her into the darkness kingdom. And these familiar spirits come uh, 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 with, with um, appearances of people that we love and trust. Guys, I'm not talking fiction. This is not a novel. This is not a novel. I've gone through it my, myself. Where I, 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 I would see somebody and suddenly that figure turns to something else. Because when I realized that, ah, uh -uh, this person came in the image of my mother. But immediately when they were getting close, because now I'm excited. I'm seeing my mother. I'm thinking I'm having a memory. I'm seeing my mother who's late. And the next thing when I'm coming, it's like, oh, be careful. Be careful. Avail yourself for the teaching of the word so that you understand how to deal with these things when they come up. So whichever door you're going to choose darkness door light door how you're gonna choose it and how you're gonna work it because if you're not careful if you open the door of darkness they will teach you things and you will think you are helping people but things are just not 
I have many friends. Many friends. Many friends. God bless them. I love them. They've got a good heart. And they are what you call witch doctors. They are, well, maybe I should... <laughs> because some of you might not understand. They still come and say, please pray for me. So if the thing was working, if the thing was working, and even in the darkness kingdom, they will still say to you, pray. Who is the source? Who is the ultimate source? Everybody wants light. Everybody wants light. I don't judge. They know me. I, I give you time. I give you, I give you time. But I always debate and I say, wait, if you say I must come over to that side, let's debate. Why is it that way now you are not doing well? And sometimes I'm that dare, daring. I'm that daring. If somebody is going to pull you into the kingdom of darkness and say, um, uh, what is the thing? Uh, you know, because I want to protect my, 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 my acquaintances. I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave this YouTube just for like a day or something. Like you guys can rewatch the replay. But I asked the person, if somebody says, do you want money? Let me take you to this such and such a place. And I, I, I asked them, I said, how come you don't have that money? How come it's not working on you? You guys need to ask the right questions. You're not going to take me to some star hunter because you want me to have a quick fix. No. Mina, I don't mind. I'll wait on God. It's better. I don't, I don't want to owe anybody. I don't want to end covenants that will make me want my child to be taken away. I don't want to sacrifice my child. Mm -mm. I don't. Come on, somebody. Which door will you enter? Somebody say they must open. Come on, somebody. There are doors that will open for you to preach. Those of you who are in ministry, God is saying, you don't have to go back on anybody's pulpit. There are doors that will open. Thank God for social media. You can do your own thing and not mind other people. You don't have to go diss other people. You don't have to start your ministry dissing other people. No, make, what is your message? What is your revelation? You teach that and leave everybody else alone. Come on, somebody. You go ahead and be the worship leader, my darling. You go and just worship him more and he will provide the leadership platform that you require. Let your objective to be a worshiper more than anything before the worship leader and he will elevate you and he will put you in the rooms. Hallelujah. I'm answering somebody who is on this broadcast on Fortunate Online. There are doors that you proclaim to be open and those doors cannot be shut. Let me go back. Revelations chapter 3. Revelations chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 and I'm going to give this context. The Bible says, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, I do write these things and I say, he who is holy, he who is true, he who is the key of David, who has the key of David, he who has the key of David, underline the word key when you're on that scripture. Revelations chapter 3 verse 7 to 8, our main anchor is verse 8. There is the person who's holding the key. He who opens the door that no one can shut. And he who, who shuts the door that no one can open. So God premises this thing and says, there are doors that can be shut and nobody can open. And there are doors that can be opened and that nobody can shut. When I step in as God in your life, and when I decide to open that door, nobody can shut it because I'm the one who holds the keys. And when I give you the key, I'm giving you the key to the door that you will have to open. I'm giving you some keys that will have to be closed. Don't worry, the video will be there, but it will be in the members only section on YouTube. Don't worry. I see. I, I've seen the request. Don't worry. But there are certain things, guys, I want to go deeper in. And I want to I wanna tell some truth. And I don't want to put it out there in the public because I want to protect the people. But I need, I need people to learn the truth. Some of you, there are things that the Lord will show. And I can't just say to you because out of prof professional ethics, those who are trained, prophets who are truly properly trained, they know out of ethics, you protect the person so that you don't collapse. If I were to say certain things, I don't even call myself a prophet. I'm just past the fortune, everybody, just, just for control. But if when the prophetic gift comes and I op it operates and it shows me what the issue is, there are certain things that people cannot handle. So avail yourself for the teaching of the word. Verse 8, he says, I know your work. See, I have set before you an open door that no one can shut. For you have a little strength and you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Let me give a context to this scripture. There is... 
there was a let the letter sent to seven churches in the book of revelations right and out of these seven churches that received the letter five of those churches were dying five of those churches were dying five of those churches were dying two oh sorry no no, no. let me re recontextualize this five of the of the of the churches that received the letter were already dead there were two churches that were left the one was the laodicean church and the other one was the um philadelphia church now the laodicean church was already sickly the laodicean church the the bible says the, the letter, the contents of its letter, it says, you are neither hot, you are neither cold. Therefore, I will spew you out. So it means that they're already, they are just vacillating. They are no, no standpoint, no dark, no backbone. They are just neither hot nor cold. They are neither hot nor cold. They're just there. So they can die any minute. They can faint any minute. And then now when you get to verse, verse 8 of Revelation 3, he now rewards now this is the these are letters that are coming from the, from, from from the throne right he rewards the, the the church in philadelphia he says the church in philadelphia you've actually done so good when i'm talking about the church by the way i'm talking about the body of christ so the body of christ that was in philadelphia and that is also a representation currently of some people who are here who is saying i'm ready to reward you this morning i'm gonna reward you with what i'm gonna reward you with the door that will be open and no human being will be able to shut it. And I'm going to talk to you as the body of Christ because you've done well. You've done well. You've been, you've been here. You've been prevailing. You have been consistent. You have been seeking my face. You've been here praying and you've been diligent concerning yourself. I'm going to reward you. And I'm going to reward you by opening doors that the devil has kept shut for you that need to open. And I'm going to shut doors that no man can open because there are evil doors that you need to ignore and you need to avoid. That is what the Holy Spirit is saying. He's saying that doors that I need to close and I've got the keys. And he says, I'm ready to hand over the keys. I'm ready to give you the keys this morning the same way I was giving the keys to the church in Philadelphia. So that means children of God there are people in different places who are part of the body of Christ who are part of the church that are either dead dying and those that will be rewarded in the same church you can sit and look at people even sometimes you look at their faces while you are preaching you can see that this one in between this one sold out this one you can see whether the thing is sinking in or not. You go to places and you can see that everybody is listening to the same preacher. That some of them are screaming. Some of them are not hearing. Some of them are just checking out what you are wearing. Some of them are wondering whether or not you are married. They are waiting to inbox you and tell you, hey, so are you married? The Lord showed me you. Da, 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 da. Some of them are wondering, did you know that you did not comb this, this hair? A strand is out of place. Come on, somebody. So God is saying, I'm ready to reward those who have done well, those who have stood. He says, I know you have little strength. I know that you've been, you've been falling. I know that, you know, you, you are, have you, but, but what I want to say, thank you. God is saying, because you have kept my word, you didn't slice out. You didn't go to the other side because you have kept my word. I am going to open the door. I'm going to open that door right now. What door is he going to open? Yes, yes, he is going to open the door of finances. Yes, he's going to open the different doors. Hallelujah. Doors to the nations. Doors to your wealth. Doors to your blessings. Doors of hope. Doors of faith. Greatness doors. Opportunity doors. Effective doors. Doors of honor. Doors of influence. Doors to the heavens. Doors of utterance. I'm not making this up, guys. This is what the Holy Spirit is saying. And this is what the prophetic written word also says. He says, I will open ancient doors. Who of you have seen that scripture? It says, I will open ancient doors. Do you know what he's talking about when he's opening ancient doors? He's saying, I'm going to open up doors that your fathers and your mothers could not open. Where your fathers and mothers did not reach. Things that blocked your mothers in ancient times. They will not block you. I'm about to release the key to ancient doors. I will open up the doors. Doors that were locked to your ancient, your ancestors. I'm about to open them. Come on, somebody. 
Am I preaching to somebody this morning? He's saying you, you can be in different platforms, but not every platform is productive. You can open different doors, but not every door is productive. My question is, can they understand fortune? Abundance, doors of abundance, doors of financial breakthrough are about to open to people this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, I'm releasing doors, keys to doors of people who have been living in financial poverty and financial hardship. Fortune, I've got the keys and I'm ready to give it to them. But I want them to be still and know that I'm God. I want them to know and to be in the word. God bless those of you who are gifting in Jesus' mighty name. He says there's a door of life in abundance. If somebody can take up my, 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 my son and, 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 and let, let him be Lord over their lives. I hear the Holy Spirit says, I'm opening up doors of those dry bones, the dead and dry bones. They are receiving life and they are receiving life in abundance. Flesh is returning to them in Jesus' name. Father, I declare and I decree that there are doors of jobs that will open this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I see doors of businesses, business opportunities, business growth, business expansion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I prophesy doors of, of, of fruitfulness to every womb that is barren. Right now, doors are opening. That barrenness is fleeing because the door of fruitfulness is open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit says, I know you have need of doors for, 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 for marital settlement. Therefore, I'm releasing the door, the keys to the door of, of no longer being single. For you finding the rightful spouse. Talk to me. So there's something for you singles in Jesus' name. That's Genesis chapter 29 in case you want to check the confirmation. He says, I'm ready to release your spouse. I'm releasing keys to doors of promotion. Keys to doors of your position that you're supposed to, supposed to take, for, take rightfully. You are supposed to get onto a particular position. You've been doubting yourself and been saying, am I going to get to that position? Am I going to be awarded that position? There's somebody in your workplace, you've applied for that job. And it's been vacant for some time. It's been vacant for some time. I don't see the spirit doesn't tell me who was occupying it first, but it's been vacant for some time. And you've applied for the job and your question is, God, am I going to get it? Yes, you are going to get it. I'm speaking to a lady. There's a lady's name. I don't know who's Kumisa or Kumisa. Kumisa or Kumisa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's it's sounding like Kumisa or Kumisa. I don't know whether it's spelled with a Q or a C. I don't know if there's somebody else who knows that person. If it's if it's you're here or you know somebody with that name, you can identify yourself. I will open it and no man can shut it, says the Lord. Receive your marital settlement, Ruth, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kalama shoto kodi abaha. Which I'm supposed to check even on YouTube, eh? My God. God bless you, Lee. God bless you, Luto. God bless you, Lee Mackenzie. Everybody on, on YouTube, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody keep on declaring, they must open. They must open. I've just been praying for partners that you will receive a good life partner. So that request, maybe it came before. Just thank God for your life partner right now. They must open. If you open the doors for Mordecai, if you open the doors for David, he's going to open it for you in Jesus' mighty name. Who is Kumisa, please? They must open. Can we declare it? They must open. He's a promise keeping God. And he wants to glorify his name through you. He wants to glorify you, his name through you. If he shuts that door, no man can open it. Some of you, there must, there's doors that need to be shut. 
Every door of Nebuchadnezzar, every door of Saul shall be shut in Jesus' name. You will shine, you will prosper, you will come into the He's a promise keeping God. Oh God, I have to finish early today. If I start that way. That lady Kumisa or Kumisa. Your job is under threat at the moment. That person is going to be called into their workplace today. You're going to be called in and there's going to be some accusations against you this week. There's some accusations. Something has gone missing. I don't know if it's money or some goods have been missing in the place where you're working. So you need to pray for God's intervention. They must open in Jesus' mighty name. God can open a door by a key. God can open a door by going before you. So those of you who are going for interviews this week, I release. He's going before you. That word is for you. He say, I will go before you. Two people are having court cases this week. And he says, I go before you. He says, confirm to them that I go before you. I'm already in that courtroom in Jesus' mighty name. I go before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God get, can go before you and send your angels. Guys, wake up your angels. Tell your angels, go and do the work. Go and do the work in Jesus' mighty name. If he puts in the work, Kidiboni, if he does what is required, Kalama Shoto Kodiabaha, if he did what he was required and you pray and leave everything to the will of God, if it's a door that God wants him to open for him, wants, wants to open for him, it will be. But if it's not, it will not. But it's if it is in the will of God. So my, my, my counsel to you is that pray for the will of God to be done and say, God, this is what we are believing you for. We want him to get this job in Jesus' mighty name. But we are praying, oh God, and we believing you for this job. And if the timeline is this week, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, Ghost Boy, for sharing the life. God bless you and increase you. Thank you for everybody who's sharing and everybody who's following the host account where you are on. May God increase you. May God bring you helpers of the work. May God increase you. The same way that you have done his work, even today, this morning. May God send you helpers who will look for you. May God announce every... Si let me, let me, this is a special prayer. I've been threatening to pray it. Let me pray it. Everybody who has ever shared my life, everybody who has ever felt that you needed to share this thing, everybody who's following me, may the Lord send you expedited help. Expedited help. May destiny help us begin to look for you in Jesus' mighty name. May destiny help us begin to look for you the same way that you have honored me with my requests. The same way that you have honored God with his requests and you have done for him. May you be announced in, 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 in each room that you need to be announced in. I pray, my God, for every person who has ever shared my life and everybody who has shared this life today. Father, let their names be announced. Let their names be announced to people who are relevant, who are going to open doors for him in Jesus, for them in Jesus' name. May you never know lack in Jesus' mighty name. The same way that you have through honor and, and service, you have come to serve, the, serve on this broadcast, on this ministry, on this altar. May you be served. May people also serve you the same way.
May you find favor. May kindness locate you this week in Jesus' mighty name. I don't take it for granted. You know why I don't take it for granted? Because there's no preacher without an audience, without a congregation. I'm called to the nations. But you are the nations. So if you don't help me spread the gospel, I can't do it on my own. You are the instruments at, that God uses. I can't do it on my own. I do my part. I go and pray and I go learn the word and I bring it through. And you guys and you go and multiply. This is how we create disciples. This is how we spread. So I don't take anybody who gives me a follow for granted. I don't take anybody who shares, especially the tappers and the likers, everybody who's doing the work. It might seem like you are doing it. Let, let, let me talk to those who are also sharing and those who are saying, Pastor, I've never been able to give. I don't have coins to give. I want to pray even extra for you as well. May doors open for you. Because some of you, I know, you are feeling like you're always having to be the underdog. You're always feeling like you are always the underdog. You, you, I don't know who I'm talking to. There's a young man. Several of you, but I'm seeing a young man. There's, there was a recent funeral in your home. Or it was it's either a funeral, but it was some kind of a function. And you were cleaning up after the people had finished eating. And I'm seeing you, you're holding a plastic and you're busy picking up the plates that were left behind. And while you are picking up these plates, you were saying the following words to yourself. I wonder if I will ever amount to anything because every time I come to family gatherings, you have been feeling like you are useless. You have been feeling like nothing good will ever come out of you that your family is not even recognized. Like you are feeling like this is so symbolic because when you are picking up the trash you are saying this is the level is this the level you are asking god you are actually having a conversation with god inside your spirit you are having conversations with god inside inside you were not vocal about it but you were saying this inside of you you were saying this is the level that my family has ever been because you're looking outside and you're looking, I don't know who I'm talking to, but please identify yourself. God bless you, uh, Kriad. Um, God bless you and increase your ministry, man of God. I don't know if you are a man or woman of God because there's no picture, but God bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. I will definitely pray for your ministry as well. Is it you, Kawira? Oh, Kawira, I was trying to. Okay, I, I'll try to pin your 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 confirmation. Kawira, you are somebody. And your family. Good evening, everybody who's just joining. You will not end where you think you will end. And I know that when you go to different family functions. Anytime you are asked to help, your, your family, you are never asked to help when finances are being discussed. And there is prosperity around you, around your relatives. Because I think one of your cousins as well has just recently bought a vehicle. And you were asking God, will I ever own my own vehicle? Naomi, I see you. They are rich, ne? Kawira. Naomi as well is going through the same situation. Amen. Amen, Kriad. My heart is bleeding now. to dream about your mom in the way but I, I believe that you sense her presence every single day you need to go dig up those memories that you have those goodness of memories don't open up the door to familiar spirits entering I'm sure you've got some pictures 
And whenever you pray, Amen. Welcome, Shields. I can feel, I can feel the pain that you guys are going through. Ghost boy, what's happening? Father, give me strength to continue. Penelope did not create you by mistake in Jesus' name. You are healed, Trebo, in Jesus' mighty name. I know that your, your, your relatives have made you feel like a nobody, but I want to tell you that you're on this broadcast for a reason. <laughs> who said, who said, I'm always in the kitchen. Kauza. May the Lord wipe away shame. Every single person that I've been talking to right now, shame is being wiped away from you in Jesus' mighty name. God, may there be a repositioning, a repositioning into positions of authority. Father God, may you open financial doors for them so that they can also be there for themselves and their families. They will look for you, but I pray over you right now. I pray for the removal of shame on your life in Jesus' mighty name. Not only will you end in kitchens, not only will you end up in picking up rubbish and all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Miss P, what's your son's name? Let me pay, pray for his um, lungs. Let me pray for his lung, please, my darling. What, give me his name. Thank you for everybody who's following. God bless you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family of Fortune L Online. Thank you for all the subscribers. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bokang. Bokang, I speak to your lung right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you are you with him now, Miss P? Can you lay hands on him in Jesus' mighty name? My God, I command every inflammation to go down right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, let your anointing of healing flow through his lungs right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be a correction before he even gets to that, to, to that operation. My God, my God, my God. Oh, Father, I cancel any form of operation. Father, let there be an intervention when he gets to that x-ray right now. Sorry, Miss P. I already heard the doctor saying it might have to be operated, but it, I've just canceled that operation. No, 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 no. Father, I speak healing in Jesus' mighty name. I speak a supernatural healing right now on that lung in Jesus' mighty name, on that chest right now. Let that swelling go down in Jesus' mighty name. If he will not need an operation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask for intervention in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask for extra diligence from that doctor, my God. This will not be a quick, quick, quick thing, but he must pay attention. Let the Holy Spirit minister to that man. Let that Holy Spirit minister, let the Holy Spirit minister to that doctor right now. That doctor that will be receiving. Father, we intercede. That doctor, that nurse that will receive, my God, there will be instant healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. There will be no misdiagnosis in Jesus' mighty name. There will be instant relief in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me know how it goes, MSP. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody type, they must open. Those doors must open in Jesus' mighty name. Guys, have you made sure you followed the account? Make sure you go and re-listen on YouTube. There are links to the YouTube uh, on um, my link at Pastor Fortune, Fortune L Online. Um, the YouTube link is there. 
follow the creator please thank you guys i love you so much i will definitely be praying for you if you want to follow me on instagram on the link there on on my profile there is an instagram icon you click on the instagram icon that icon is the one that has the youtube and the instagram link if you're unfortunate online you follow both of those you can send a message on me on ig ig i will follow you back immediately and because it's it's easier on um on instagram it's easier to sift through i filter the messages i've not responded and i see them quicker and i can answer and um i can follow you back on instagram i don't have limitations like i have on tiktok and but please follow me on tiktok because i want us to grow the more we are the more we spread the gospel even faster the more people i helped and uh on youtube we put all our replays all the replays for whatever broadcast that we have uh, some broadcasts, if they are too sensitive, if there was anything prophetically said that was too specific, sometimes we just move it over. Also, if it's if it's part of the school of the spirit teaching, we move it over to the member section. And if you want to give, you're welcome to give. Um, there is also a thank you button on YouTube itself. You don't have to operate through anybody on inbox if you if God leads you to do that. And if you want to be a blessing uh on tiktok you're welcome to do that thank you for all the subscribers everybody was gifted i love you guys so much guys don't for i i don't think i've forgotten i sent you guys to all go do an act of kindness each one of you this week so i'm gonna i'm waiting for you to tell me what did you do who did what who did you do it for and what did you do if you gave somebody lunch this week i want you to tell me karabasata kariabasata uh, uh, please tell me exactly what it is when we get to when i'm praying for the people on, on tiktok as well um guys please tell me why what am i praying for don't just ask for a general prayer i can obviously i can pray generally but please let me know what you are believing what is ian needing right now what are we needing for ian what is ian struggling with right now sharon is ian father we pray against the spirit of alcoholism in jesus mighty name we say let that alcoholism door be shut in the name of jesus christ let it be shut in the name of jesus christ Fa father god anybody who needs a door to be broken down any stubborn doors oh dear you stacy god bless you awesome 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 Okay, some of you guys are not giving me report backs, but don't worry. I'm still going to catch you next week. You be kind to somebody. Make sure somebody has got lunch today. Okay. God bless you. Did you choose the right course, Kama? Are you sure that you are on the right course? Every stubborn door we command it to break down in Jesus' mighty name. If you want God to open a door for you, you need to know where exactly you are. And you need to be tired enough and be ready to fight. And if you are tired, I want you to ask for God's help and say, God, open that door. They must open. Declare that they must open in Jesus' mighty name. You have the power to succeed. And you need the help of God. Are we about to be shut down? <laughs> Amen, somebody. Every door must open. Come on, somebody. Open doors for Candice's children in Jesus' mighty name. Linda, that door is open in Jesus' name. No, 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 Jay. We were not praying for that, Ian, my darling. <laughs> Ah, but we bless baby Ian in Jesus' mighty name. He will not be an alcoholic in Jesus' mighty name. I'm glad I caught that because sometimes people have got similar names. Thank you for clarifying that. No, I was praying for specifically a mother uh, whose son is Ian and he's drinking a lot. Okay, so it was not for you, my darling. God, open that door. Come on, declare it. They must open. Come on, guys. Now, I need boldness from you. I don't need beggars. I don't need beggars. This is your father. This is the father you are approaching. You are coming boldly to the throne of grace. I need you to declare. They must open. They must open. Declare. They must open. Speak to that financial door. It must open in Jesus' mighty name. MK, don't use crying emojis in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to cancel what has just come out of your mouth right now. Stop saying it. Stop thinking it. And even if you don't 
say and when you are thinking and you are the one who's bringing this manifestation to, to take root, you must decide whether you want to fight for your marriage or not, MK. If you want to fight for your marriage, you must decide that you are fighting. And you, you rather reach out and ask for strategies and help. And you declare, no, the door of a good marriage is open unto me. And it's effectual in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Change your language right now. My God, they must open. Come on, let's develop some boldness in us. Come on, guys. Lee McKenzie, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will no longer be treated as an underdog in Jesus' mighty name. Lee, you're on, on YouTube. Chido, open doors for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Ramashi Kodabasatata. Go, go, and Natasha, I see you. God bless you. Every person that is being tormented by your relatives, by your in laws, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I close that door of torment in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a liberation for you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for every single person. Doors have been shut from your in-law's side. Because there's somebody that they don't feel like you are worthy of being with their son. The other person, your children, they don't even want to see your kids. Oh, God. Father, give us good mother-in-laws, my God. We open the door for good mother-in-laws. Thank you for the confirmations. I command the door of insult to close in Jesus' mighty name. Every door of insult is closing right now in Jesus' mighty name. And your cry has been that you just want them to have a relationship with your children, but they've closed the door. Don't worry. It's actually, it's, it's actually good. I know that... Uh, they did a family meeting for you as well. Some of, I, I want to just say, don't force them to receive your children because if, if you force them to receive your children, there will be evil manipulations done on them. They even blocked you from the funeral. It's okay. It is well. While we pray for God to turn around their hearts, what I want you to do is to protect yourself and protect your children. Because children are very vulnerable and children become open doors. We don't want the open doors. They, they, they will want to harm your children and because they want to break your heart. There are, there are some people who are that evil. And I pray against it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are here to say we need your help, mighty God. As we close in Jesus' mighty name. Restoration and healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys, push through. Those of you who have not been able to sleep. May you find rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, arise and show yourself as the living God in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for every single person who's at the sound of my voice right now. Touch every issue, financial, health-wise, my God, mental-wise, my God, emotionally, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the burdens that they're carrying for their family members as well, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by your mighty hand. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are lifting up, that you are lifting them up right now. You are lifting them up from every mountain that is an obstacle and you are putting them on their desired mountain, on that mountaintop, my God, to show off and show off your glory. Father, I speak to the spirit of poverty and spirit of lack in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be suffocated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every demonic conspiracy 
that has been against our progress, I command it to be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away every spiritual blindness, every spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tandega, I command the spiritual eyes to be open in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know who's Tandega yet, but Tandega can show yourself. Nomsa. There's a lady called Nomsa. There's been walls just coming up. Everything that you're doing is like things are blocking, blocking, blocking. The Lord is saying the Jericho walls are coming down. Tell Nomsa that the Jericho walls are coming down. Tell Nomsa that the Jericho walls are coming down. If you want to tap into that prayer, if you want to tap into that prophecy, you tap into it. If you have also been facing defense, 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 things are blocking you. There are walls. You are feeling like you are walled in. You've been feeling like you are boxed in. Nothing is moving. Nothing is shaking. You can't go. You're trying to go forward. You're just blocked. I speak to those walls right now. The walls of Jericho. Everything that is standing on your way to open doors right now it's coming down in jesus mighty name who is it karaba kora masanda dia maha la casa taka dia mahara rajeke dia masa taka de meka la mahasa katia masa yes they yes so as you connected in the mighty name of jesus christ haka la masata ika la mashoko tia mahasa taka dia maha roko siondo dia mahasa kata ika la mahasata zoe every every evil camp that has been set against you Every evil camp that has been set against you. There's an evil camp, Zoe. There's an evil camp that has been set upon you. And you have been feeling, you have been, you have been under siege. You have been under pressure. I command that camp to be, to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Zoe, show up again, please. As you were tapping in and you were connecting to that prayer of the Jericho walls coming down Zoe the Lord showed me that you are under siege you have been under siege yes Lee I did follow you back on Instagram my darling I follow everybody back I'm no celebrity that doesn't follow back if I could follow everybody everywhere I would every platform but don't worry for I follow back and I respond, I take my time as much as possible. Sometimes I've got more than 1,000 messages to go through. I do the best I can, but I still have to preserve my energy. But at least on this platform, at least I get to talk to people. Sorry, Zoe, I missed your comment. I don't know whether you commented again. But I want you to receive that deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Every, every, every satanic weapon that has been fashioned against somebody. Right now, somebody, you are having pains on your navel, on your stomach right now. There's like a, a it's like a, a twisting pain, a twisting, a stabbing pain in your navel. Can you please identify yourself so that I can pray for your healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that has been frustrating you, every evil snare, that has been prepared against you everything every enemy of progress in jesus mighty name nelto is that you oh namaniyama sokodiyama zoe did you receive it zoe did it make sense the siege okay i can't pin for some reason so all those people who are commenting and, and confirming i can't pin you but thank you for confirming nelto you are feeling better now it's actually gone now thank you Jesus father we close the doors of every door that has been put by every enemy of progress in Jesus mighty name God bless you Zoe God bless you Miss Reward, I want you to pray against the monitoring spirit. Right now, Father God, I cancel every monitoring spirit in Jesus' mighty name. 
for the next few minutes, Mr. Ward, I need you to pray and tell me whether that thing is still on your back. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Ward, sorry, I missed that answer. Is it gone? We pray for healing for your mother-in-law, Samantha, in Jesus' name. TN7193, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. That tummy pain is gone. Confirm. Zwaki, when you say no, I don't know what you're saying no to. Um, I haven't spoken to Zwaki yet. I was speaking to Miss, Miss Reward who's got something stuck in your back. You feel like something is stuck in your back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guys, please make sure you're giving me a follow and you turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss me. I'm back again tomorrow, 5 a.m. Let your business proposals find favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh, I miss that name. Oh, I speak the oil of favor. You have business proposals that are coming out this week. Sorry, I just missed your name. When I saw your name, I wanted to pray for your business proposals. All monitoring spirits are canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. All monitoring spirits are canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing that is on your back is gone, Miss, Miss Reward. As I prayed against monitoring spirits, right now you should feel an instant relief in Jesus name Father I pray that every pit that the enemy has dug for us my God may they fall into that pit themselves and be buried there in Jesus mighty name do miser God bless you it's good to see you my darling Oh, Maureen may the doors of travel be open for you in Jesus mighty name Whatever demonic way they've been monitoring you, you're always feeling like there's something following you. God bless you, user Emily. God bless you. There's something that is always like following you. It's like you are you are having like when you look, it's like you are feeling like there's a shadow behind you. Who are you? Every time you are walking, you are walking as if you are feeling that there is somebody in, behind you. There shall be deliverance on Mount Zion. God bless you, user Emily. God bless you. May Lord increase you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Jew. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Creator, I bring you that you will no longer We bring that temper and anger under control in the name of Jesus Christ. Emirada, is that you? Emirada, I'm going to deal with that shadow that is following you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to that temper. Let it be controlled in jesus mighty name not only should it be controlled father god i uproot that spirit of anger in jesus mighty name in the mighty name of jesus christ emirada I speak to every blood altar that has been erected against you. I command it to be destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire right now. I speak to every blood altar erected. There are blood altars that have been erected around you and that they have sent you a monitoring spirit that has been following you. This is the spirit of a man that has been following you. It's a dark feature. It's a dark male feature that has been following you. And any time, if, 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 if you ever feel or you the symptom returns i want you to stop and rebuke it you stop there and you might look like a crazy person turn around and say satan i rebuke you you get away from me in jesus mighty name i am free but from now on i want you to know that you need to bring down that altar constantly you need to pray 
every because they're still gonna try they're still gonna erect those altars around you they're still gonna be trying to erect them but you need to stand firm because if you keep on playing emeralda the lord i hear the spirit of the lord saying you stop playing with fire because there's i don't know what it is but he says stop playing with fire stop playing stop doing the things that are keep on opening you because the lord is saying there's you keep on opening the door and that's why they keep on trying you hope that makes sense sometimes this english god god, <laughs> god bless you everybody see me who are supposed to be here for less than an hour and i'm on hour number two minister amelia please pray for me guys please pray for me to only minister for one hour and go <laughs> god bless you those who are gifting god bless you thank you so much please let's um pray for uh, all the followers the new followers as well in jesus mighty name pampa has your sister been watching the broadcast with you since we started when did the coughing and the throwing up start? Yes, pray for me to stop talking. My husband says I, I, I probably say 10 billion words a day. I speak so much. So I'm trying, I'm trying to karavasa takariavasa. I pray against the spirit of gluttony in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, spicy. God bless you, Ruth. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. You know that excess, you know, Ruth, honestly. Because they keep on telling me, like, come back to rest, come back to rest. And I'm always just here. I'm like, the burdens on the people are so much. And they keep on telling me, Fortune, you will not finish everything. So please, guys, that's why I'm always like, when you get me to that disciplinary mode, motherhood, that I say, please work with me. I want you to get your breakthrough as fast as possible so I don't have to shout. Ah, Jew. I pray for favor on those papers, my darling. That application in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, in Caroline, inbox your dream. Inbox your dream on IG. Not, uh, uh, you want me to stay here the whole day when will I literally guys do you know for me to get four hours sleep is a miracle but I've received the grace to watch the phone ring and not answer it now I, I I'm trying I'm getting there like to say I can't I I don't I can't do amen guys I was waiting that person who your sister has been throwing up I don't see your comment again I don't know it's because there's a lot of comments that are coming through i wanted to know uh rumbi um may the lord direct you in the right paths so that you can know how to guys if anybody knows how to how you go about applying for cruise ship jobs i see somebody's looking for help on fortunate online may god locate you to the right information and the right people this is what the spirit of the lord says Rumbi, I need to pray that you don't fall into the wrong agent's hands, that your money will not be wasted. Nobody was going to scam you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Mazu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that appreciation for the word of God that has been shared. Thank you so much. Every business is blessed, guys. Direction is released. May the Lord direct you and order your steps in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome all those new ones who are new in the family in Jesus' mighty name. You are lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Precious, I'm going to do a special session for spiritual husbands. I've actually been trying to prepare myself spiritually because when you're going into the spiritual husband and wife dimension, you are you are fighting marine spirits. And I've actually trying been, been preparing myself spiritually because there's going to be a huge deliverance in that class and it's not going to be public. So I'm going to invite you into a Zoom or a, what do you call it? Google Meet. We're going to have a Google Meet class or a, a Zoom class. It's going to be a different thing. Okay. That's why I've been asking for people to inbox me their email addresses. Um, especially on IG. You, you send or you will send 316 Live. Guys, can everybody just type 316 Live? This is the best way of doing this. I've noticed that this inbox story is going to give me stress. 316. You know the numbers 316. You know the scripture that says John 316. You just type 316 and the word life. Life, life, L-I-F-E. 
Somebody please help me. No, not live. Life. Moderators, please help me pin it. 316 Life. L I F E. Yes, 316 Life. You see it. You put it as one word and you say 316 Life Media. Oh, and now I forgot. You see, now I'm so no use of using this email address. 316 Life Media, guys. Okay, let's type 316 Life Media. 316 Life Media. Add the word media to it. 316 Life Media. That's it. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pin somebody who's not 326. You see, you guys, you're doing no wrong thing. I need 316 Life Media as one word. Beautiful, Naomi. Amelia, please help me pin this. Um, I don't know what's going on with my screen. I'm trying to pin. I don't know why it's not pinning. Okay, guys, you see 316 Life Media. Everybody keep typing it. 316 Life Media. Let me pin Siabonga there. I'm trying to pin on Mara official now as well. Oh Jesus, 316 Life Media. There we go. Okay, 316 Life Media, guys, everybody. Then you just word the words at Gmail. That is the email address, 316 Life Media at gmail.com. Because when we type the, the email address on, on TikTok, it doesn't go through. So I want you to understand that the reason why sometimes when we try to exchange digits or anything, TikTok does not allow us to exchange personal information like phone numbers and all these things because they want us to operate on one. So 316lifemedia at gmail.com. That's my email address. 316lifemedia at gmail.com. Keep on writing. three. Not live, ne? It's live with an F. 316lifemedia. 316lifemedia. That is, that, is, that is the email address. So those of you who have been waiting for the School of the Spirit, anything that you want to require, you want to, you want to ask about, you send an email there. You can send me your email address. You can send me your WhatsApp number and then we will put you on the WhatsApp groups, okay? And we will, uh, on the WhatsApp group, and we will send you information. It will be easier for us to communicate by email. Then I'm going to send you all an invite to the same meeting you accept and you'll be in the email um you will, you can put it and as a calendar then the thing is always there you will always remember even these meetings that we are having on a daily basis we can do a, a, a calendar notification so that everybody receives the same time and it synchronizes to your time zone when you accept it okay as i love you i have to go 316 life media there it is you see that is pinned. Can you go pin it, please, as well on Mara Official? Um, YouTube and Facebook. I didn't see. Yes, you've, yeah, 316 Life Media at gmail.com. You send an email to that address. Whether it's a dream interpretation, just capture your subject, dream interpretation, so that we send it to the right department, right? Because there's experts in everything. I'm not an expert in everything. 316 Life Media, put the subject matter, my contact details, spiritual um, husband class, or school of the spirit, those of you who want to be mentored and nurtured, so that we send the right information to people, say exactly what you need to say. It's better that way. 316 Life Media at gmail.com. But please make sure that you are following, okay? Have a good day, my darlings. Thank you so much. God, I pray for every single person on Facebook and YouTube and on TikTok and everybody who's been joining us via Zoom, all the ministry partners, all the ministry members in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are blowing your wind right now on every single person who's at the sound of my voice. Let your wind of glory blow. Let the wind of success blow. Let the doors open. Father, we command every single good and open door to, to open up for us in Jesus' mighty name. Every single person who's listening to the sound of my voice, who has been feeling like they are doing the barest minimum, Father God, may they go into their maximum level, their next level of success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I cancel every satanic utterance that has been issued against them, every satanic word, every satanic prophecy that has been sent against them in Jesus' mighty name. I command it to be scattered in Jesus' mighty name. I crush it in Jesus' mighty name. I send every arrow of evil back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every altar, every shrine, every 
shrine, my God, every altar, every foundation from their father's house, their mother's house that is evil, that has been speaking against them. Father God, I command it to crush in Jesus' mighty name. I crush every evil spirit that has been tormenting those that have been laboring under addiction, my God, because of genetic blood blood flow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cut it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you, Lord, for total restoration for marriages. I thank you for total restoration for those, my God, whose marriages have been falling apart and they've been feeling like they're falling apart. I thank you, Lord, that they will now start seeing possibilities and they will be hopeful and they will be praying and be giving thanks for things that are hopeful, that are about to change in Jesus' mighty name. I snatch back every husband from every strange woman in Jesus' mighty name. What God has joined together, no man shall put asunder. Father God, every single person that has been called asunder, I crush the spirit of adultery amongst these ones that are on this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody of my followers, every one of them, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, may they grow spiritually, my God. May they grow in their prayer life, my God. Father, thank you, Lord, that we are releasing watchmen and spiritual warriors, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. And when we fight, we fight to win. And my God, as they go forth, my God, they go forth in victory. Greatness is their portion in Jesus mighty name. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you glory in Jesus mighty name. Every single person healed from the top of their head to the soles of their feet in Jesus mighty name. Your glory shall not be swallowed up. Your glory shall not be swallowed up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of witchcraft has been buried against you in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. We are going forward in Jesus. Every door that we want, every door of goodness that we want, we command it to be open. They must be open. They shall be open. They will be open. They must be open. That they are open in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil door is shut in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much for YouTube and Facebook. See you later on the stream. Those of you who are on on online church and those of you who are in Midrand as well. God bless you. We see you later in Jesus mighty name. Tembisa, I'm waiting for you. Mamelodi, I'm waiting for you. God bless you. I love you.